MotoGP bikes are complete prototypes, which are designed from scratch. They have advanced technology that is only known to the team involved in building the MotoGP bike. They are jam-packed with secrets that no team would want to share on the open market. However, they know that some secrets might never work but the fact that they might still give another team a shining direction, makes them keep it secret. They knew very well that another team might notice where the MotoGP team was heading with the bike. And it might be enough for them to be upstaged in the racing industry to a new technological breakthrough. The MotoGP bikes have a maximum engine displacement of 1,000 cubic centimeters, a maximum bore of 81 millimeters, and four cylinders. Six gears are allowed except for engine supercharging and turbocharging. The MotoGP bike engines produce up to 240 brake horsepower and can also reach speeds of up to 217 miles per hour while the minimum weight of a bike is 158 kg. Facts about the MotoGP bikes The Yamaha YZRM1 has 109 wins, it has been around since 2002 but the Ducati was the best MotoGP bike. Even though it wasn't the one that won the rider's title. MotoGP has more horsepower. Nowadays fastest MotoGP bikes produce about 290 horsepower per liter. And the most famous of all was the 256, renowned for its amazing exhaust note. In the comparison of the MotoGP bike and the World Superbike, Superbike machines are heavier, slower, and also like the bikes you see on the road. The series regularly races at the same tracks as MotoGP bikes, giving us a good comparison of lap times. MotoGP bikes are the strongest and lightest bike. MotoGP bikes are the lightest, strongest, and most flexible bikes we currently have. The estimated production cost of U1 million dollars plus per bike. Many factories use specific parts from third-party manufacturers. However, few bike-specific parts are manufactured, and these are custom-made for the specific rider. Most MotoGP bikes nowadays have seamless transmissions. It allows clutch-less gear shifting, which allows quicker recoveries from braking and cornering situations. MotoGP bikes have aluminum frames. The main function of the bike's frame is to hold the several parts together in a structure in order to prevent it from falling apart. The frame supports the seats, fuel tank, suspension, engine, and handlebars. This bike frame is also known as a chassis and has the three most essential. MotoGP bikes have more advanced electronics. MotoGP bikes weigh in under 160 kilograms or 352 pounds. Nowadays all MotoGP bikes use carbon brakes, some have carbon fiber swing arms. And most teams use carbon fiber fork sliders. MotoGP bikes brakes are not made from carbon fiber. But rather carbon carbon MotoGP bikes are equipped with cables, sensors, and a queue that collect the data. They can download the data once the bike gets back to their garage, through a wired connection. There are the maps and instructions uploaded before the bike leaves the garage to take to the track. MotoGP bike tires run hotter with superior grip. MotoGP bike's tires run hotter with superior grip, its tires are called slicks tires. And they have zero treads on them which makes them perfect for motor racing. But possibly illegal on a motorcycle on a public road. The tires are made up of a complex chemical compound designed to work best in a specific temperature range. They are no longer made from rubber. On a road bike, these temperatures are about 75 degrees Celsius or 165 Fahrenheit in dry and can drop to around 60 Celsius in wet conditions. A MotoGP tire cannot function properly in terms of road holding at 75 Celsius. It would rotate normally, but when the rider leans into a corner, he can fall off. MotoGP tires require to be at least a whopping 100 Celsius or 212 Fahrenheit. What engines are in MotoGP bikes? MotoGP riders use prototype machines with a max engine displacement of 1,000 cubic capacity. That is limited to four cylinders and a maximum bore of 81 millimeters, offering up to 240 brake horsepower. No super or turbocharging is allowed, a maximum of six gears are permitted. And the highest speed is 362.4 km per hour or 225 miles per hour. MotoGP bikes do not have the same engine because are not limited to any engine manufacturer. MotoGP bikes are permitted to use all modern technology and materials in their manufacture. The MotoGP engine is in the Yamaha YZRM1 with 109 wins thanks to its inline 4 engine configuration. And nimble chassis, the bike has been around since 2002.
What is the cost of a MotoGP bike? MotoGP bikes are very expensive bikes, they cost around $3 million to $3.5 million. The main reason these bikes are so expensive is because of the required parts accumulated. And put together to build up MotoGP racing bikes such as engine tires, metal, etc. MotoGP bike engine parts alone can cost $425,000 with $25,000 in valuable parts while the tires can cost $15,000. It is not easy to own a MotoGP because it's particularly important. The satellite team MotoGP bikes have been leased to the teams and therefore never come up for sale. Because when they are done with them, they return them to the factory. How many gears does a MotoGP bike have? The MotoGP gearbox is the opposite of a regular street bike because you will have to push down on the foot lever to change gears up. They have six gears in the gearbox, the highest gear is located at the bottom with the lower gears above. When you consider the gears of a MotoGP bike, you'll find that the neutral is not situated between gears 1 and 2, and besides that fact, the MotoGP gears are in the opposite order to that of a standard street bike. Is the MotoGP bike made for the public? MotoGP bike is not made for the public but some former riders or in crowd, might well be presented with a MotoGP bike when the team no longer uses it. They are made in small numbers, around 7 to 8 with a maximum of 10 manufactured for the various riders in the team. And also engines are limited to 7 per rider, per season. The MotoGP bikes will have carbon fiber, titanium, and magnesium parts all over the bike. And these kinds of materials would be prohibitively cost high if applied to a production bike. The MotoGP bikes have a coups that are mapped for the individual rider. For track layout, and for the specific weather conditions on a particular day. But here are regulated limits to what AQ mapping you are allowed to do on a MotoGP bike. In conclusion, there is a big difference between MotoGP bikes and normal bikes. Production. Normal bikes have fairings produced from abs, acrylonitrile butadiene styrene. A thermoplastic polymer generally used for injection molding applications which is ideal for road bikes. MotoGP bikes use carbon fiber which is a good deal lighter and far more robust. These bikes have got faster over the years which has resulted in new MotoGP top speed records. In 2019 at Mugello, Ducati's Andrea De Vizioso set a new highest top speed record during the Italian GP practice. The top speed achieved on a MotoGP bike was as 356.7 km per hour or 221.6 mph. 